Good morning and welcome to another Sandia Mountain Natural History Center quick trip. This morning we're going to be building a bench and you think well how is a bench related to natural history or observing nature? Well we're going to build a very special bench called the Leopold Bench and as you may recall from one of our earlier videos Aldo Leopold was a famous conservationist who wrote several books but the most famous was called the Sand County Almanac and Leopold was a devout observer of nature and he used this bench and a special feature it has to help him observe uh, that nature so stay tuned to the end of the video to see what that special feature is let's head into the shop and join Toby Archuleta, our master craftsman, as he builds this bench. This is a real simple project that doesn't take a whole lot of skills or knowledge and just a few supplies, uh, a couple two by tens, two by eights, and some nuts and bolts, a little bit of time, and uh, be prepared to have some fun. There, kids, and that's how you build a bench. I think Aldo Leopold would be very proud of me. Thank you. Just been watching a red shafted or northern flicker for a few minutes. But I know what you're really thinking. What's the big deal? It's just a bench. I thought you said Leopold was a genius. Doesn't take a genius to build a bench. Well, the genius in Leopold's design was not in the uh, form and function of a simple bench, but rather a bench that can turn into a super wildlife viewing platform. I could sit here for hours resting my elbows here and observing the wildlife, uh, the birds, and all kinds of things. So I told you he was a pretty sharp guy. And this is an easy project that uh, you could do at home. It doesn't take a whole lot of uh, materials, pretty simple hand tools, and you could have a Leopold viewing platform just like this. Special thanks today to our carpenter, Toby Archuleta. He did a great job. It's solidly built. Hope you enjoyed this, and we'll see you on the next one. At 3.30 a.m., with such dignity as I can muster of a July morning, I stepped from my cabin door, bearing in either hand my emblems of sovereignty, a coffee pot and a notebook. I sit myself on a bench facing the white wake of the morning star. I set the pot beside me, I extract the cup from my shirt front, and hope that no one will notice its informal mode of transport. 
I get my watch, pour my coffee, and lay a notebook on a knee. Aldo Leopold, a Sand County Almanac.